one thing I'd like to say from a public service announcement point of view is when you say things are mint, um, I'm not sure people who sell us stuff and our opinion of mint is the same thing. Some people say they're mint and they could be in two pieces. What's up guys and welcome back to the Drift Games vlog. Really good episode for you guys today because we are finishing a car, but it's not my car anymore. A lot going on, let me explain what's happening. So, like most of you, as a car fan, I spend a lot of my time on Facebook Marketplace, on Dundeal, on eBay, looking at what's out there. And I came across a car on Instagram that looked incredible. And I said, I would love to build one of those. Absolutely love to build one of those, but I have no budget because I have all my money sitting in all the other cars I have. So I started thinking, would I sell one of my cars to build this new project, which I really want to build, and I said, I might sell one. In the conversation of selling it, one of the guys in the office said, I'll buy one of your cars of it. He was involved in the start, he was involved in the build, and it is our E36. Now you guys know this as the Pandem car from Craig Coleman, it arrived here, we did a lot of changes to it, and the man I was working with on that car was Mr. Adam O'Connor. Well, we can't show this side because yeah, we, can't show, yeah, we can't reveal the car. We can't reveal the car yet. So we did say the car was going off for a colour change. Yep. I was in the office and I said, I, I might get rid of the E36 to get this new project, which you'll see on an upcoming video. Uh, a lot has happened in the last couple of days and things move pretty fast mm -hmm. around here. Yeah, pretty quick. That's what was so you said to me that you would like to buy the E36 because in your past, you were a bit of a stancy, yeah, stancy, stancy boy. Yeah, because we started working on the car and I got a bit of an attachment to it. I was like, this is very cool. And I, and I knew the plans of where it was going. I was like, this is going to be very cool. Yes. So it's not very cool just yet, because I bought all the parts for it. We haven't put the parts on the car yet, but we kind of are at a point now in this video where we can put it all back together. Yeah. It's a different color. We're going to show you that in a moment. Um, and I've bought another car in the meantime. So Adam has bought the E36. I've bought another car, but you're going to see that on a future episode. Uh, things move fast. Pretty cool. But what I was actually happy about, the reason is I didn't actually, I got attached to the E36. But I'm happy now that I still have the E36 okay. around. You it's still not, have it. It's not going, it's not anywhere, going anywhere. So that was what, it was kind of like a, a consolation prize yeah. for me that I was like, I really want to see what it turns out like. I really want it to be on the channel. I really want it to be part of the Drift Games team. That's it, yeah, because everybody's buying, buying road cars. Josh got a road car, has a new MX-5. You have, renew, you're, you have a cool road car coming. Possibly Blaine even has a cool road car coming. Yeah, we're starting to- Hitting the road. We're hitting the road. Like we're getting so off like, the track and hitting the road. Yeah. And we have been, and I've spent so long now building cars that have gone nowhere. No. I have to focus yeah. on getting these cars on the road. So that's what's coming up on the next few episodes. So in this episode, we're gonna reveal the new color of the E36. We're gonna reveal the fact that we have every part to finish it and make it cool. And hopefully in one day, we can actually make this an awesome car. Fairly, yeah. And then let's just make it road worthy and road legal and get going. Get spinning around. Get spinning. Get, get out around. there, out there and about. Yeah. So you guys might have had a few doubts on this one because it was a very nice car to start with. I think it's, it was an excellent looking car and it was amazing, but I think it's unbelievable. I'm looking at it right now and I think it's unbelievable. Should we reveal the color? Yeah. Of your- My new car. E36. Adam, talk us through. Have a look. Well, I was going to say, this, this reveal is going to be rubbish because it's just going to be a load of boxes, so. Parts, 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 parts. So reveal the car. It's white. All of my cars, uh, both Stancy cars I've had. I used to have an MX-5, a Mark II MX-5, and an E46. And they're both were black, kind of subtle, and I was like, oh, this is jazzy. This is. I think it's the, I think it's the right color. Yeah. Because from my perspective. Well, you the, chose this color. I, cho well, I, chose <laughs> but I think it's the right color for it, because it's fresher. Yeah. I always feel if you put an older car yeah. in a newer style of fresher color, it pops. This is all white now on the outside. We have a t it's half assembled here at the moment yeah. because literally everything I was going to say, it was a bad reveal. This, I stole the wheels. Josh stole the wheels. Josh, the, the, Josh, the, Josh, the, we, have, we have to talk about why, Adam, that we now don't have those wheels on the yeah, car. Because I obviously made the stance work, made it look unbelievable. I thought the wheels looked amazing. It was the colour. <laughs> the co Now this is... This is white. This white. Is like, it was like a brilliant white, but the wheels were like a creamy white. <laughs> and it really yeah. stood out yeah. when you were Which I seen, I went. It was like, you know when you go on Halloween when you put white face paint on, yeah. and then your teeth look super yellow? So yeah, you're like, That's Ooh. kind of what was happening with this. So then, of course, this little vulture who runs around on the roof of the shed came down and gobbled up, and all, gobbled up all the three yeah. wheels, which is called Josh. Yeah. So he took all the parts going, does anyone do that with these wheels? Yeah. I told you, my, my car is like a charity car. It, it, it takes from others and makes use of them. Second oh, life. The bits of leftover from yours are now gravitating towards that. 
trap. It's a trap. Yeah, car, yeah. Basically. So I also stole the air filter off my drift car, so. So you've stole bits <laughs> off your own drift car and you've stole the wheels off this. But we have new wheels for this. I don't think we're going to get everything done on the inside, but we'll try and get the outside. So we need to put Fine. indicators in it. Final trim. We need to put the trim on the bumpers. We need under, to put the under, other under splitter. On. Under splitter. We have tires coming from the tire box on the way from Sean at the moment, which are going to mount up to the new wheels, which we'll get the wheels on. Then we have the side trim, or the side skirts, side trim, back trim is on the way. We have rack left over because we've ordered, I ordered a new fuel cap, which is, which is, we have the fuel cap, that needs to be wrapped in white. We have parts, parts, parts for the louvers for the back window. That has to go on. Don't know how they're going to attach. Double-sided sticky tape. Double-sided or possibly Tech 7. Don't know, we'll figure, we'll figure that out as we go. And then the bonnet vents, which Blaine made a job of. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, yeah. Hey, it was his first time grinding, so he did alright. So, like, if you're cutting a hole for something to sit on, you wouldn't cut the exact size, but that's what he did. Well, I think he could have been, I would say, half a millimeter off if you can yeah. literally well, see. I, this one is like, like, like the hole. It literally, you have to put it in exactly the right yeah. way. I can't do this. I can't so do this. The hole that sits onto it is probably like a millimeter smaller, where it should be probably a lot less. But so we can make it work. But just, just, this is your bit headache now anyways. That's as Dave said, this is my, this is my nightmare. There's one thing I'm actually really, really not looking forward to. It's putting that diffuser back together. You know what? We never took a picture of the diffuser. So yeah, the diffuser is... And this is how many parts it comes in. Like, remember you used to have like, Meccano sets when you were younger. There's like bits, oh bits, I don't even know what they are. There's no hardware. There's just some sheets of metal. And we have to construct a diffuser out of it all. Right, should we get, get opening parts. and cracking and parts. sorting out? Yeah, and start putting stuff together. And start building. Yeah. How many bloody things did they order? A lot. <laughs> Are they all the same? <laughs> I thought she you knows what he's ordering. Just, sorry, just, sorry, just, sorry, just, sorry, just sorry. This is why, yeah, this why he doesn't like, get the credit card anymore. <laughs> Adam is uh, working on the side of the car. We're getting there. We got the bits on. Got a little delivery. <laughs> Amongst the other pile of rubbish. What is in the box? What's in the box? Ooh, bubble wrap. Oh, we've got goodies from Link ECU. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We've got some hats. And we've got some t-shirts. Look at all this. And we got some air fresheners. Put them in the cars, that's a nice one. Thank you, Link ECU. Yeah. Want to give a quick shout out to Link ECU. Obviously, Link ECU are our longest running partner of Drift Games. We have an amazing relationship with the guys there. We feel like we're definitely part of the family and anyone who buys Link products becomes part of that Link family. The amount of stuff that you can do with them compared to the old ECUs and these old school cars that we run is incredible. The performance you can get out of it, but most importantly, the safety features on a lot of the cars have helped us out massively. You guys will see when I was at British Rift Championship and my car was overheating, the Link actually shut down the car, started shutting it down into limp mode because I was the problem. I was running the car too many laps continuously. It doesn't let you be the problem. It doesn't let me be the problem and I'm always the problem. So it saves your engine and if you're building a high powered car or performance car and you want to protect your engine and get the most amount of performance out of it check out the full range from link ecu i guarantee you you will not go back ever again from it they have an amazing range of products all the way from sort of you know piggyback ecus that just give you a little bit of a tuning ability all the way up to standalones that make basically replace all that stupid old wiring in your car and make it purpose built so if you've got a drift car you've got a road car you've got a performance car check out the full range from link ecu and they will sort you out and you will never look back in terms of the gains and the safety I can't help but think Adam is not going to plan. I'm not going to say I'm giving up on it, but I'm done with it. This is when Tech 7... I was going to say, the next time you come back, it will be done. I'm not going to say how I'm going to do it, but it will be on the car. That's like a lot of things that we do. Yeah. It's on. You yeah. don't want to say how it's done. Yeah. We have seven times the technology to stick it onto the car. Oh wow, yeah. that, that, was, that was a clever way of saying it. Yeah, yeah. That's incredible. Just, I don't know how I did it, don't ask. It's now a part of the door, but it will be in four to six hours. <laughs>
Put your jets on. Why is the masking tape there? Uh, moral support. Moral support, just yeah, to... Uh, not, not structural support, more, it's, a, it's to, to will it to stay on. Well, at least they're on, and they're definitely on. Yeah. The next thing is the big Bla struggle. Blaine's bonnet, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what we're calling it, Blaine's bonnet. So we're going to attack this with a combination of super glue and... Oh, and the Tech 7's actually just over here. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we can... Well, I've never seen it. What is this stuff? I've never actually used this stuff before. No, so he's lucky he was there, so... Yeah, pre-cocked, pre can... pre pre, uh, pre-pumped and ready to go. Well, someone, yeah. was, someone must have just been using it. Right, so we uh, had to remove the white wheels from it. We had these ones hanging around, which are actually in good nick, and it should fit the car pretty good. Colorwise, this is the fronts are 8.5s. We have 9.5s from the rear. We got tires from the tire box, who are the best in the business. We always I was going to say tire. we got these at two hours' notice. Two hours' notice. They might not do that for you guys, but next day delivery is pretty much <laughs> what they promise. But they have such a wide selection, and the prices are so reasonable that you just can't really go with anyone else. They're like a wholesaler, so. To be honest, you're just going to save yourself the money by going on the tire box website, so do that. So we throw these on and see what the fitment is like and what spaces we need. I think what's that, roughly a 15 mil spacer on there at the moment, which is as bare minimum what is what we need to clear the bags, but I'd say we'll probably need to run more anyway to get the uh, fitment. So the wheel is on there and the wheel will turn itself. Well, at least from there, we'll be able to calculate roughly what we need to get the fitment. Which perfect. roughly, I would say, you probably need another two centimeter, twenty mil spacer. Uh, it will, but that's that's your slip-on spacer on there, and it's clear in the in, it's clear in the inside. I would say by millimeters. So you're probably going to need a thirty mil spacer on the front. Yeah. Look good in it though. Why are you wearing a hat? What are you doing? You got your hat, a mask. I'm your teacher, extra. And an air freshener. Oh, that's the teacher, that's extra lap. Have you got an air freshener? Get one of the air fresheners. <laughs> I lost two kilos, man. We've had this deal, you can't say it to me about being oh, yeah, extra large. Mom, he truck. truck. Your, your truck. truck? One for truck, one for truck. Yeah, my truck. It's his truck now. <laughs> The barge is done. This doesn't look very conventional, Adam. This is not when you go to BMW. Um, I've seen I've seen your man in uh, Ralph Wells do exactly this with yeah, the Porsche. Yeah. yeah, this is exactly with what the they bag, <laughs> bag of gravel. Sh <laughs> shout out to Tom Burke and uh, Mobile One and Burke Lubricants, <laughs> keep keeping his way down. <laughs> I think that's when Tom sent us that stuff, the coolant. Uh, that's exactly what he wants. He says this is the heavy stuff. The heavy stuff. <laughs> bringing <laughs> the, in the heavies. It's so, ideal for putting a bit of Tech Seven on a, on a bonnet yeah. vent of an E36. So, spacers are on the way. So we got on to our friend Dean Martin. He's got some spacers he's gonna send us uh, over the next few days so we'll be able to put the wheels on. We have to put the side skirts on when the wheels are on because we can't drop the car without the wheels. Um, the mirrors are on. Mirrors we are we on need to put all the bolts back in for all of the panels. All the harder since they came back from that. Yeah, we need the diffuser on, which looks like a Lego set over there. That's my shot. That's my shot from one of the other side. Miserable. There's two diffusers actually. There's a diffuser, then there's another diffuser underneath it. So. Twin diffuser. Twin diffuser. Look, we've all the bits now, which is the most important thing. So we just need to make them all on the car. Anyway, long story short. Uh, we should cut to the next day. Cut to the next day when we're back re-enthused. Uh, Refed, uh, re-watered. Re 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 yeah. re and re-enthusiastic. Re had a small think about the mistakes we made and try and rectify them. And hopefully by the end of this video, which will be Moving forward. Seven and a half years later. It's yeah. now 2027. Let's go to the next day. Oh, can, I do, can I do the blackout thing? Is that, is that still in style now or is that out of fashion? What's that? With hand. Why have I did this? Like kind of a, oh, I'm not sure. Bam. You got to do it closer. You got to do like a, that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we're back. But then that didn't really, the, the swipe didn't really work out. So we're back, refreshed-ish after a weekend. Get ready to get this thing finished. Well, we, we, we got eager and we took off the bags off the yeah, bonnet. Yeah, we uh, had, to, had to see how our handiwork was going to work out. It actually worked out really well. There's a small few little tiny I'm kind of surprised, I mean... It's on. I w <laughs> if that just came off then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll wait and see. We'll do the first motorway trip and it's just going to go, well, under the bonnet's going, and flying off. We'll call it a success. 
but there's not too much left to be done today. Uh, the side panel that Josh um, didn't tech seven on uh, has kind of not tech seven to the car. So we have to fix that as well. Do the back panel, do the Lego diffuser, put the side skirts on, wait for the spacers to arrive, and get it rolling. Did you get anything done the last day? Well, now that the Tech 7's come off, probably not. Not really <laughs> that much. But yeah, that's all we did, so time to crack on. And we say this is going to be about an hour, an hour's work. It's not gonna be an hour. It's light out now and it's early in the morning. I would say it'll be dark by the time this car's done. And it's summer. And this video's going out today. Today, yeah. What you see, actually, yeah. There you go, Blaine. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can keep it um, not a complete mess like the last day, be all right. Yeah, we didn't plan for the best. It just happens like this. We're idiots, okay? <laughs> so let's just cut to a time lapse and we we'll probably get to the next problem and then we'll try and sort that. <laughs> Are we coming at the wrong part? Much like the other stuff, Josh, that doesn't clip in on the side. Clipped. But much like the side panels, I have to stay here forever. <laughs> hey. It's like James Bond, this is where we put all the secret stash of like other bits and pieces. The secret stash? The secret stash, you know where he has like the, <laughs> he drops all like the things, so like we're having a drag race now, like Dominic Toretto, we can fire out diffusers at people. Because it's the other diffuser which Ooh, is like, it's clipped! <laughs> it's going well, Adam. No. To we don't have instructions and while we have a photos of the old car but from quite far away and no reference of to what piece is what. <laughs> this is what you have. It's like Christmas morning but... With no instructions. It's like they took the instructions out the Lego. Yeah, and but Christmas is ruined. It didn't take a lot to get distracted from that. I didn't uh, really want to do that job in the first place, but the space has arrived, so we've decided to change. <laughs> you still got to go back to that though. Yeah, we'll, we'll think about that in about 10 minutes. That's future Adam's problem. Wheel time. So it is about 500 degrees in the, here, and none of us are faring very well. Adam's just gone to keel over on the floor, it seems. Why is it so warm in here? It's the Pocahontas of a, or whatever, that Cinderella story, one, whatever. They're too hot, too many, too cold. I can't even, it's too warm, I can't even speak anymore. That's what this diffuser on. I've got the bolts. You need to poke that fella up. Let me be your eye. There you go. There you go. That was teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. I so say drop it, see where we're at. Slow down, slowly. Oh. Oh. 40 was correct. Nice. Couldn't be more spot on. Oh, that's lovely. Right, let's go at the front. <laughs> so stop. Yeah, you're sitting on the frame there. Have we succeeded? I see so. Do all the other problems not seem as bad anymore? No, makes it worth it. 
The on the back is absolutely spot on. Jesus. That's a tasty old machine. It's weird once you take it off the ramp, it how is. much of a difference it actually makes. You always get dragged in some shape or form, Wayne. Yeah, I'll... I thought this would never end. It was, it was never, it's not done. It's only made it to there. It hasn't even made it to the far side of the earth. This video is never gonna be over. No, never. So now I feel bad that I've sold the car because Adam, it looks savage, absolutely savage. Get out of the way. Although, even though it looks savage, it isn't actually as finished as it looks. It's absolutely just masking tape together. I would say that is literally the distance it would go. Without clapping to the end of the strap, yeah, like pieces the coming off. falling off the back, the indicator's falling out of the front. So this Major. is just more to make it look like what it will look like. And this car has a greater purpose because we've got a brand new series coming. And that brand new series is going to feature this car. It's also going to feature other cars and it's something brand new for the channel. Although, this is a taster. So in our next episode, we're going to explain why we're doing this car up, what the purpose of it is, along with a lot more stuff, very exciting stuff from Drift Games. Think Games Changers, think bigger, think new. We'll see you on the next episode.